Hello and welcome. I'm going to solve some examples using the principle of superposition. To analyze using superposition, we need to follow three main steps. One, set all sources equal to zero except one and solve for that source. Two, repeat step one for all sources. And three, Add the solutions obtained from each of the sources. Example 1. Determine the current I in the circuit using the principle of superposition. At the beginning, we are going to set the current source equal to 0. And we obtain this circuit diagram. The current source is set to zero by replacing it with an open circuit. Now we just need to find the current I. That results from only this voltage source. And we can obtain that by simply dividing 12 by the sum of these three resistances. Since this current is related to the voltage source only, we added this symbol to distinguish this current from the current that results from the current source in the next step. In this step, we set the voltage source equal to zero by replacing it with a short circuit. And now we just need to find the current I that results from only the current source using the current divider rule, as we can see here. The direction of the current that results from the current source is upwards, which is opposite to the direction of the current that results from the voltage source. And that's why we added this minus sign here to the value of the current that results from the current source, because the direction is opposite. And this current here is the current that results from both the voltage and the current sources. Example 2. Use superposition theorem to find the current I and the circuit shown. Similarly, we are going to set the voltage source equal to zero and the 40 ampere source equal to zero and we'll just calculate for this source. So this is the voltage source, short circuit, and this is the current source, open circuit. Now we just need to find the current, I, that results from the 120 amperes source. And we can simply find that using the current divider rule, and we get 30 amperes, the value of the current, I, that results from this current source. Notice that the direction of this current is to the right. Now we're going to solve using only this current source. And again, using the current divider rule, we get the value of the current, which is 30 amperes. Notice that the direction of the current is to the left, which is opposite to the previous current. And now we're going to set the two current sources equal to zero, open circuits, and solve only for the 10 volts voltage source. We can simply find the current by dividing 10 by 150 plus 50, which is 200. The direction of the current is also to the left. Since the direction of the current that results from these two sources is to the left, we add them here, whereas the direction of the first current was to the right, which is opposite to the direction of these two currents, and that's why we put a minus here. And this is the final solution for this example. Example 3. Use the superposition theorem to find V 
in this circuit. In the same way, first of all, we are going to set this source equal to zero. So it's replaced by open circuit. And we just need to find the voltage V using voltage divider rule, which equals to two volts. We are going to call this voltage V1. Now we set the voltage source equal to zero by replacing it with a short circuit. And we need to find the voltage V2 that results from the current source. First of all, we need to find the current that's flowing in this resistor, which is I3, using the current divider rule. And this current is 2 amperes. By multiplying 2 amperes by 4 ohms, we get the voltage V2, which is 8 volts. And finally, we obtain the voltage V by adding the two voltages. And this is the final answer. Thank you very much.